Uh, my name is Tomasz Kaczynski. I'm an IT developer at Masaryk University. And today, my topic of my topic of my presentation uh, will be about technical infrastructure. Uh, it should take about 40 minutes, and I will try to show you as much uh, practical examples as I could. Uh, so we have already set our our goal uh, with Jakub. Uh, meanwhile, we we set the deployment of Kipolite with Tomasz. Uh, then Vojto showed us uh, how to create the training definition, and I'm going to show you how to prepare a virtual training environment. Uh, we can break this area down into the following uh, into the following fields. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about virtual machine images in OpenStack, how to download them or develop them. Uh, then import them into OpenStack. Another field is creating a sandbox definition. I'll show you how to create a topology definition, uh, how to define networks, define hosts and routers. Uh, next field is preparing Ansible roles. So we'll, I will talk a little bit, just one slide about Ansible basics and principles, um, how to create Ansible playbook and how to find or develop Ansible roles. Uh, the last, finally, uh, I will show you how to build a sandbox in Kaipo, how to create sandbox definition, how to create pool and allocate pool. Uh, so let's start with my virtual machine images, how to download, develop, and import. Uh, throughout the whole presentation, uh, to better visual visualize uh, all the fields, uh, I will be showing this diagram. So at first, we need to import or get our images ready to be used. So for example, let's say uh, when we are following the Kaipo demo training, we want Kali and Ubuntu. Uh, so you can either download images created by us or official cloud images. Uh, Throughout the presentation, I will open the links and try to try to show you how does it look. Yeah. So uh, images created by us uh, are on this OpenStack object store. Uh, they are listed here. Uh, if you want to download them, you just copy the name and put it after the URL and it will start downloading. Uh, that's the easiest way and uh, recommended by us because these images are updated uh, and they are, we are managing them uh, for years. Uh, then you can download some official images. There are just three of them. For example, Ubuntu Bionic, Ubuntu Focal or Debian. Uh, yeah, so you can download images. For example, if you don't believe us and you want some challenge, you can you can uh, develop an image by yourself manually. And uh, here are two links. One is a repository with our images where you can choose any of them. And for example, CentOS, go through the Read me and for example, how to build it. There, there, there is a Y key for everything. There is a guide. So, so you can try it, but I recommend just download, download downloading our images. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you have downloaded or built or developed your, uh, your image manually, uh, you need to import it into OpenStack. It's easy, just get the application credentials of your OpenStack project. So you go to your OpenStack. Uh, choose, choose your OpenStack project, go to identity, application credentials, and you can create your application credential 
uh, check the unrestricted box and you will create it. Uh, then you will download the open RC file, run it. Uh, it will update or it will set your variables in your system and all the OpenStack commands uh, will then use the credentials you set before. And then you just run this one command where you set the path to the image where you have download, downloaded it, uh, OS type, either Linux or Windows. And if you want guy access, so true or false, and OS distro, you can find what the distribution is here and the image name uh, after the update. So it's that easy. Uh, after that, you will have your image updated uh, in OpenStack, for example, like this. That's all for the first part. So we have already imported the images to OpenStack. It wasn't that hard. Uh, now we need to look how to create a sandbox definition. That means how the topology uh, will look or what it will consist of and what will the configuration of it be. So let's get, uh, get back to our diagram. Uh, so we imported the images in OpenStack and now we need to create a sandbox definition. So if you are following the Kaipo uh, demo training, we want one client and one server. Uh, they are each in different networks and they will use the imported images uh, that we imported before. For example, client will use Kali and uh, server will use, uh, I think, Ubuntu and also Luther. So what is sandbox definition? Uh, sandbox definition architecture is really simple. Uh, there are just basically two parts. One of them is topology definition, uh, which is the, which is just uh, one file named topology YAML, where all the hosts, routers, networks, and basic configurations, uh, for example, like um, IP addresses are set. Next, there is topology configuration provision, and it's it's mainly used or, or, or it's mainly configured by Ansible. Uh, here is a sandbox definition ex example. Mm, as you can see, it's the it's the same architecture. Here is a topology YAML. It's it's mandatory, and here is the provisioning playbook rules. We'll talk about it later. And here are some voluntary files like readme. Okay, so we need to create the topology definition. Everything is defined in topology YAML file, host, routers, networks, net router mappings, and groups. Here is the example. Uh, I will have it on the another slide, divide it to visualize it better. So uh, first part of the topology YAML file is of course the name, how, uh, how the topology will be named. So for example, as we are again following the Kaipo demo training, we want to name it Kaipo CRP demo training. Uh, next part uh, are hosts. So let's say we want to host, one is server and one, one is client. Uh, there are some parameters like base box. Uh, it tells you or it, it tells the Kaipo which image uh, will the host use. So these are the images we have imported before. And there is one more important parameter and it's flavor. Uh, flavor is is parameter of OpenStack, which just basically tells you uh how how many resources does that host uh will use so you can use for example standard small which will have 
that host will have one virtual CPU, uh, two, gig, two gigabit of RAMs, uh, 80 gigabit of disk, etc. Uh, yeah, so so that's host. Uh, another part are routers. Uh, these are basically the same as host, but uh, of course, as it's router, uh, it's routing from one network to another. So it's some, it, it's basically a router, but but the configuration is the same. Next, we want to configure networks and IP mapping, um, mappings. So we want two networks. One is client switch and server switch. Uh, client switch will have 30.0 slash 24 and server will have 20.0 slash 24. Um, that's defined networks. Uh, net mappings, it tells uh, which interface will, uh, which address will be assigned to which interface. So for example, server will have uh, 25 IP address and client will have 35. Yeah. Also, also the router mappings is the same, but with the router. The last thing, last thing uh, we define in topology YAML are groups. Uh, it's it's for grouping hosts uh, that we can later use it uh, to, for example, call uh ansible roles to multiple hosts so it's it's easier to to read the playbooks later so for example we want uh, to be we want clients to be user accessible so we create a group user accessible and we add client as a node to it so we have created a topology definition and we are moving to the second part and it's topology provision. So we will talk about Ansible basics. Um, I hope uh, a lot of you know what Ansible is and we will talk about playbooks and roles. Let's get back to our diagram. Uh, we have imported images, we have created sandbox definition and the, the host or the machines uh, are not any much more configured. So we want some services there. We want some vulnerabilities there. And that's that's the part of Ansible provision. Uh, we use Ansible roles for that and Ansible playbooks. So uh, what is Ansible? Uh, it's agentless configuration management software, which means that you don't need to have it installed on the nodes you are managing. Uh, you just need, for example, SSH access. Um, basically, administrators tell the software what should be done, but not how. And it uses um, these, um, these main parts of Ansible. So modules to accomplish a given task. For example, APT is a module for installing a software package. Then tasks to call an Ansible module roles to group and encapsulate Ansible artifacts like tasks, variables, files, etc. And last one, plays or playbooks to map roles to host. Uh, how to prepare Ansible role? Uh, it's, again, it's easy. Sometimes. Uh, you can develop your own with Ansible Galaxy in it and name of the role. The basic structure of Ansible role will create on your computer. Uh, not all the folders are mandatory. I think just tasks because it's it's the main it's the main folder where all the all the tasks are defined. Or you can download roles created by community on Galaxy Ansible where there is a big, big community of people who uh, always update these Ansible roles or collections. So let's say we want MongoDB. We scroll down and here are roles. 
which we can uh, download. Uh, it's a little bit laggy, but yeah, you can download it there. Uh, here is Ensemble Roles example. Uh, again, we are in a Kipo CRP, Kaipo CRP demo training. We go to provision. Here are the roles. Let's say we want a server and here are tasks. So for example, we are changing the telnet port, which we were talking uh, before uh, or installing some packages. Uh, here are this is a task. Uh, it calls a module and it has some parameters. Uh, if you are developing Ansible role by yourself manually, or you are just uh, using some created and you want to uh, change something, I recommend just uh, typing user uh, user Ansible module to Google. And here is a whole documentation of uh, how the model works. So uh, here are some parameters that you can use. And if you scroll down, here are the examples. So let's say you want to add user John D, uh, it looks like this. It's really easy and uh, it does not need some a lot of experience with it if you want to make some basic things. Uh, yeah, that's it. Mm, creating a simple playbook. So, and simple playbook map uh, roles uh, to host that we created in topology ammo. So let's say we want to, this is, this is a simplified uh, playbook of the demo training that we are following the whole webinar. Uh, if you want, uh, you can use tasks in playbook as well. So let's say you want to set up a telnet server and client, uh, you define host. So it's the same name in, as in topology YAML, server and client, and you write the tasks uh, just like in the Ansible roles. So we want to test network connection using APT. You can do it like this. Or uh, this is used much more uh, that you can include raw created Ansible roles uh, either with hosts or groups. So for example, uh, as you can see, I'm not calling server or client, but I'm calling the whole group of user accessible machines. So that's the group that we defined in topology YAML, and it will include a role keep Kaipo user access, access to client. Or if there are any other machines in this group, it will uh, include there as well. Uh, that was the third part of uh, creating a sandbox in Kaipo. And Let's see the final part, and it's a building sandbox. Uh, we will import sandbox definition, create and allocate a pool. Uh, we are at the final part of our diagram. You know what happened before. Uh, we have created Ansible roles. We have set up everything, and now we just need to use Kaipo that is deployed. Uh, to build a sandbox. Uh, here are some guides for importing sandbox definition and creating an allocating pool. Uh, if you will, after the webinar, you want to create something by yourself, you can follow this, uh, this presentation and it should uh, give you all you need to be successful in it. Uh, here are the guides. I will show you practically how it works. So we go to our Kaipo portal. Here are the tabs, sandboxes. First of all, we want to import our sandbox definition that we created before. So uh, it's pretty easy. You just uh, 
passed here GitLab URL uh, of the sandbox definition. So we can go to Kaipo CRP demo training. We passed it here and revision, let's say master. Uh, okay. <laughs> it should work, yeah, but uh, I think I made some mistake. So basically, you just import it like that. Uh, you will see it here. And for example, you can open it, you will get to the GitLab. You can read what's the definition about. After that, you will go to the pool. And a pool is a group of sandboxes uh, with one with one definition. So you can create a pool. You set a sandbox pool size. Let's say you want five sandboxes because you are a teacher and you have five students and you want to make an an exercise for each of them separately. So I want five, I have five. Uh, you can choose the sandbox definition. So let's say Kipo demo training, select, create. Uh, now the pool is created. As you can see, it has size five, uh, zero, zero sandboxes are allocated. Uh, it tells you how many resources or percent of resources of your OpenStack project is the pool uh, using. And you can allocate it. So let's say I want to allocate just, just one sandbox for testing. Uh, it's, it's started to allocate. Uh, it will take some time, so I will show you the the sandbox I allocated uh, today earlier. So uh, each location has three stages. Uh, the most important stages are first and third. First stage uh, reads your topology YAML file, which we have created before, and create all the resources and artifacts in OpenStack. So it uh, create two machines, networks, it map, it maps uh, IP addresses, etc. That's the first stage. It finished. Uh, then there is a networking ansible stage. It's not that important for us right now. And then there is the user ansible stage. Uh, that means uh, that uh, all the ansible roles that you um, assigned in playbook will be will be uh, uh, will be used on the machines that will be created in OpenStack. So we can scroll down and we can find, for example, server, and you can see that uh, we want to we want it to add user and set password, and it changed it's it's uh, it didn't fail, so that's great. And after the fin uh, after all the stages finished, uh, you can open a pool, and here is a little icon of topology. And voila, we have a topology uh, ready to be used. So we can see the server, client, router, and that's all. Yeah. So it was. It was pretty easy and didn't took long. So uh, I'm. Uh, it's almost uh, end of my presentation. So we just I will just tell the summary. Uh, we have created or we have downloaded or developed uh, virtual machine images for OpenStack. Then we have imported it into the OpenStack. We have created a sandbox definition uh created topology definition define networks hosts and routers after that we have prepared ansible roles you can download them or you can find them uh, or create by yourself and then we joined it everything in a kaipo where we created sandbox definition created pool and allocated it 
And that's all for from me. Uh, thank you for your attention and have a nice day.